Hello everyone, hi, MechaCheese87, and this is Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Part 32. And I saved the game! Uh, literally, I was I was finally able to save the game. As you may remember from last video, there was a little bit of a crisis where I could not uh, save the game on the final prompt where the, it forces you to save the game because Dolphin was weird and the game had like this weird save corruption thing that I wasn't quite able to fix. You have no idea what it took to like recover this game. Even I don't honestly remember all the shit I tried. But eventually, it probably took all in all about two hours of just trying everything under the sun to recover the save file. We got an email from Egan. Dear Cheesy, I've heard you returned from Citadark Isle. I'll send this message as an invitation to the Or Coliseum in person. I don't know what that is. That's some, there's, you know, there's some post-game stuff. There's actually not that much post-game stuff that really we can do on screen. Uh, mainly, the, the only things I can think of off the top of my head are getting the last couple Shadow Pokemon, Purifying Lugia, and Mount Battle, and then this Aura Coliseum. I don't exactly know what that is. I don't remember that at all. But, yeah, but just the things that I tried were crazy. Like, after that video, I spent like 90 minutes trying to uh, recover everything. And I just, no matter what I did, because I kept getting these problems with saving, because this game has some weird copy protection, where what I thought was going to be able to do was just delete the uh, memory card, like the virtual memory card in Dolphin, and then create a new one, and then just save over on that via save state. But this game has copy protection, because the developers were weird, and they didn't want you to, like, be able to theoretically, like, create multiple save files and, like, copy them over to other memory cards and get, like, infinite, uh, Lugias and stuff like that, because the designers of Game Freak are fucking weird. And that was causing a lot of problems, but ultimately, I, I tried this once and it didn't work, but then I tried it again, which is basically just start a new game and save and then load the save state, and for some reason it worked that time. I did have to play through the whole final part of the final game again, which the main differences are we got more Shadow Pokemon because I kind of ran through that final section pretty quickly and maybe have used save states to get everything. Since basically everything we had already caught, like all the legendaries we caught on the first on screen, so I didn't really mind like using save states for that. But so the only thing we're missing is Electabuzz, who we need to get from Mirror B. And I guess that's it. And there's Togepi, who I think I know how to get. Dragonite, I also just looked up how to get. But I don't think we can quite do that just yet. Hello, sister. Big brother, there's real, there's an old man with a really long beard standing outside. When Jovi asked, he let Jovi touch the beard. When Jovi tucked it, he said it hurt. It must be real. Fucking creeper. Yeah, I guess we're gonna start the- I really, Like I said, I really don't know how much there is left to do post-game. Like, it really wouldn't have even been that bad if the Let's Play had ended back in the last video, but I just hate to leave things half unfinished, and I was actually really, like, kind of depressed about, uh, not being able to finish the game properly, which is why last night, after I'd completely given up, I decided to give it one more try, you know, right before I went to bed, to fiddle around with it a little bit more, and it worked, and it was great, I'm really glad I did that, because it was just really gonna bug me, you know, especially since I spent all the time getting all the Shadow Pokemon and everything, like, not being able to properly complete the game would have, uh, Definitely pissed me off. Cheesy, it's me, Egan. Surely you haven't forgotten who I am. Nah, man. Uh, not really familiar. Have you read it? No. Well, now that's odd. Maybe I, perhaps I made a mistake when I sent the email in a panic. Well, that's not important. I was inspired by your battle exploits, Cheesy. You see, it made me want to have a battle with you. That said, Cheesy, there are countless trainers that would be honored to battle with Cypher's nemesis. I therefore I decided to take charge and organize it as a Coliseum event, impressed. But before we talk, we must battle you and I, on guard! Oh. Okay. Myth trainer. Your fucking skills as a trainer are a myth. Oh, god, um, I think I actually used that joke already. When we first fought this guy, way back in the beginning of the game. I don't even know what the team, like, the team is all okay, let's look we're all healed up. Which is good. And level-wise, everything should be basically... I think we're a little bit lower level, because basically just Alteria and Walrein did everything. 
because like I said, I may have a, a few save states to get through some of the stuff faster last night once I'd actually fixed everything. Uh, yeah, we can just use Earthquake on these guys, so let's do that. Is he just going to have like five Pichus and a Pikachu? Maybe we'll have some Raichu thrown in there. Maybe two Pichus, two Pikachus, two Raichu? That would be my guess. Be pretty uh pretty lame party composition, but I'm not really gonna judge you too much. It's looking like my prediction is correct of two Pikachu's, two Pikachu's, and two Raichu's. Man, the Earthquake combo is so good. Like just having a fly, like just being able to span this move indiscriminately is amazing. Imagine if we actually had like a ground type. Orion has a pretty good attack stat. You know, it's 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 not like amazing. It's not Bennett level, but it's pretty good. Actually, I don't. I really don't know what Walrein's base stats are. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've really looked at them in a long time. Pikachu and is it Raichu territory? It is. Two Pichus, two Pikachus, two Raichus. I called it. And let's make sure. Where is OBS? Yes, we are recording. This video might be a little short because I don't exactly know what all there is to do. It's like I got to do a lot of off-screen stuff because basically I'm not going to do all of... I'm only going to do the last area of Mount Battle on screen because it's just kind of pointless fights. You know, there's not really too much there to show. I wouldn't mind... I mean, I definitely want to show the final encounter of Mount Battle because it's kind of like... One of, I think it's the highest level trainer in the game. I would assume he's the highest level. I mean, I guess the uh, the person we get Dragonite from has high level Pokemon. But I think the Mount Battle guy is supposed to be stronger. I think it's Pokemon are in the 60s, maybe. Would be. At the very least, the Mount Battle guys are already like in the in the 50s. So just in Area Seven. I think I mentioned that in the other videos, that there's this random power spike in how strong the uh, Mount Battle... Volt Tackle? Man, rip in peace Wall Rain. Just destroy that man's entire family. Or I guess woman, because it's actually a female Wall Rain. Go Ninetales. My favorite unlike all this other trash in my party. Overall, I do really I like this party. I'm pretty, uh... That's one of the only things I do dislike about these, uh... This, especially Coliseum, is there's a very limited amount of Pokemon you can get. It's not so bad in this game, because you've got, like, 80 or 90 to choose from, approximately. I guess it's probably closer to 100, if you count in the Pokemon spot stuff, that I never even bothered with, because all the Pokemon there are bad. It's like Hopips and Aeron. Like, Aeron is cool, but I used him in Soul Silver, so I'm not going to use him for a while. Even though Aggron is one of my, like, probably top 25, I would say. I feel like I say every Pokemon that I vaguely like is in my top 25. Really, it's like my top 100, because there's just so many that I like are kind of, like, a decent amount. It's no wonder that Cypher has their eyes on you. I must say I enjoyed myself tremendously. I'm sure that the trainers who have gathered at the Ore Coliseum will be delighted to face you. Man, these guys are so strong. Why the fuck didn't they take on Cypher? Bunch of pussies is what they are. Cool. I guess we'll go pop over and look at it. I don't exactly know what it is. I mean, is it just like a normal, like a, like the real Gam Coliseum, or... I really don't remember this at all. Very good of you to come. If you plan to check the Ore Coliseum Challenge, go to the reception area. Uh, I don't got anything else to do in this video, so maybe we'll do this. I guess. I assume it's just like a real, J real Graham Tower type thing. Different rules. Okay. Double battles are combined. Or yes, every single battle in this game is a double battle. You dumb woman. Certain kinds of Pokemon are not permitted. Okay. 
basically we can't use legendaries and items. That's pretty much what I've got here. Cool. Let's let's go. What? Let me fight, good. Yes. Should make a challenge to gain experience. Are you ready to enter? Yes. Damn, there's so many hoops you gotta jump through. Oh, what the hell is this? He's got six Pokemon? Oh my god, they're all level 60s. Okay, so there's a Parasect, a Breloom, a Slowbro. We definitely are gonna want Ninetales here. M my boy. And, I mean, probably Jinx, Houndoom, Gardevoir. Binette could be useful. But at the same time, I really would like Altaria and Walrein. Sorry, Binette. Sorry, Zangus. I really should have uh, sent Alteria and Walrein as our 1 2 for the Earthquake combos. But yeah, I suppose we'll do this. Probably won't be too much going on in this video, just beside these battles, because everything else I want to do is going to take some time off screen. Like, purifying Lugia uh, is going to take a while. Actually, it won't. I think we can actually already do that. I can't remember exactly how Purifying Lugia works, but I wouldn't mind at least using Lugia once in like a normal fight to show him off, like the Shadow version and his uh, non-Shadow version. He only has Flash Fire. Uh, we can overheat and hit him with the strongest move of all, Water Gun. I get a point on no Shadow Ball, so that's good. So we don't necessarily need Banette. Granted, Vaporeon Shadow Ball isn't that great, because it's based on your attack stat, as I've already complained about. Spore! I forgot Breloom can learn that move. This is, uh, is, we're off to a, off to a bad start, because Water Gun's not going to do any damage. We can, can we call? To wake him up? I know it's. I noticed that we couldn't use items, but I assume we can call. Oh no, we can just give in instead of calling. Well, I guess we will uh, totally lose this battle. It's feeling like. Okay, Vaporeon the God is sticking in there. Okay, well I don't know if we're gonna win this. They're too fast, and us not getting overheat off really hurt. And getting spored. We could... Do we send out Alteria or do we send out Walrein? I think we'll send out Alteria. Okay, good. We woke up. We can get this overheat off. That should kill Breloom. Hmm. Things ain't, ain't, things ain't looking too hot. We do have the Wall Rain Earthquake combo available once Ninetales dies. Um, maybe we just overheat again. Assuming I doubt anything can kill Ninetales. Ninetales has Flash Fire too, so Houndoom shouldn't be able to really do anything. Probably better off just Dragon's Breathing Houndoom. Maybe get a Paralyze. Crunch is probably going to do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Ooh. That Ice Beam might actually... Oh, he's gonna hit Alteria, dumbass. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. I just, like, completely forgot that Alteria, if you hit him with an Ice Cube, he instantly dies. Because he has a quad weakness. I was focusing too much on Jinx being a Psychic type over Ice. And we miss... Over he can miss? What? It has 100 accuracy. Oh, it's only 90. Huh. I did not know that. I thought it was 100. So we've lost. That's the long and short of it. It's GG. We have been defeated. Unless Walrein can pull off some amazing earthquakes. I mean, you know, depending on what the last... Okay, Psych is going to do a lot of damage. It's really just the speed advantage that's really uh, making this hard. Because that's like the most important stat, in my opinion, for single player is speed. Which is why uh, over leveling is good. 
Like when you're 10 levels higher and you outspeed everyone, it's just impossible to lose. Yeah, because we're just gonna die to Psychic now. Oh, it's even a par even sit out shitty ass Parasect. I'm gonna lose to a Parasect. Whatever. Yes, give in. No point. In you can't didn't beat me. I quit. Okay. You can't fire me. So where were these nerds to fight Cipher? Okay. Fucking level 60 Pokemon. Pieces of garbage. Uh, shit now, I don't know what to do for the rest of this video. <laughs> we can go look at the Shadow Pokemon. I actually haven't done the pure, like, shown off the Purify Chamber since the very first video, so we can at least kind of show off how, how that's looking. Even if I don't necessarily want to Purify Shadow Lugia yet. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could do, like, a mock battle with uh, Shadow Lugia real quick to show him off. Where, where is he? Uh... Oh, there he is. So, the gimmick of Shadow Lugia is that he can't be purified normally. Let's just... shift. I think we can go battle someone, like, right outside. And show him off. We'll do that real quick. And we'll probably purify him at the start of the next video. I'll probably actually purify all the Shadow Pokemon we have off screen and then start the video off by purifying uh Lugias here. So what does he know? You know Shadow Blast, you know Shadow Storm, Shadow Down, and Shadow Shed. Eliminates reflect and other similar moves. So it's garbage. That's that's what you're saying. Huh, Shadow Blast isn't even that good. It's supposed to be like the shadow version of Arrow Blast. But it's kind of Awful. It's only 80 base power. Shadow Storm's like so much better. It hits both people. Okay, does anybody want to battle me? What? No. Fuck off. Okay, we'll go find someone to fight real quick. And then we'll end the video shortish. And I'll probably do a lot of stuff off screen. What we'll probably do next video is we'll start off purifying Shadow Lugia. And then we'll get the last. Ooh, we can go to Outskirts Stand. I think this is where you get Togepi. From what I read. Are you, are you the guy we're supposed to talk to to get Togepi? No, you're Willy. Okay. Let's fight Willy. Get out your Willy, son! We need to beat it! These dudes have shitty-ass linings. There's apparently a dude who'll give you a Togepi somewhere around here. Man, this dude's shit in his pants. He's got a fucking Lugia to deal with. So what do you, let's, we've already shown, let's use, sh well, we'll use Shadow Blast, just because it's, like, his move, even though we've already seen it a few times. Dude, he's got level 50 Pokemon now. He's actually grinded up his Lionids. Too bad Lionids are still fucking awful Pokemon. Pin Missile? Are you trying to Pin Missile me? The animation for Pin Missile actually is kind of cool in this game. You just hit me for five times. Dude, Lugia's getting his ass beat. Come on, Lugia. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised to see Shadow Blast is, like, that bad. Because it hits one target for 80 base damage, whereas Shadow Storm hits both targets for 95 base damage. Like, you would think a signature move of, like, the main Shadow Pokemon in this game would, like, not be trash. But, uh, you'd be wrong. Because it's not even like Shadow Storm is unique. Basically, every special attacker Shadow Pokemon learns Shadow Storm at this point. Past, like, the beginning of the game where they knew. What was the move that, like, every one of them knew? Like, Shadow Wave or something? That's just an objectively worse version of, uh, Shadow Storm. Wow, that did zero damage. That's, like, kind of sad that that did that little damage. Come on, Lugia. You, uh, you, you've gone soft on me. You just dig up- okay, you're gonna get fucking dunked on by Earthquake here. Because you get- you take double damage if you're dug, if I recall correctly, so that works. Dude, these lining are tanky as fuck. That one's not- that one got obliterated. 
I love killing them when they're underground like that. So that's Lugia. He's uh he's kind of not that great in all honesty. He's partially kind of bad probably because no EVs. You know, as I kind of mentioned, like why Bayonet had bad stats for a while, just because it didn't have any uh, effort values from actually getting in battles and stuff. I get handed the loss. I still need some seasoning. Dude, Lugia does look pretty cool though, with how big he is. What are his stats? Just out of curiosity. What? What the fuck is with the special attack? Why is it so damn low? I mean, I know. I mean, I thought Lugia was kind of specially defensive. But I didn't realize it was that bad. Dude, no, I gotta, I gotta look up Lugia's base stats one second. Yo, where, where is Lugia? What is, what is wrong with you, my man? Why are you so bad? Uh, base stats. It only has a 90 special attack. Wow. I knew it had more special defense than special attack. I didn't realize it was that bad though. Man, Lugia's fucking awful. How, how's my boy Ho Ho? What are his stats? Oh my god, now I'm just looking up face stats on video. This is not good. You can't even see him because I still have the capture on. Uh. Dude, Ho Ho's stats are fucking trash too. It has a high attack stat. What the fuck do you want a high attack stat for? On a fire Pokemon. Dude, second gen legendary is awful. Ooh, Mirror B. Where is he at? I might do that once this video is over with. Since we still need to get old Electabuzz. He's a real Graham Tower. Hopefully we can. So we're trying to find some dude. Are you who we're looking for? No? Is it you? Portal, yes! While well, I was in Cypher, there were rumors about a boy who snags Shadow Pokemon and purifies them like that person be you. You purify the Shadow Togepi. Oh my, I forgot about that bullshit. At least, you know, in future gens, they made it so, like, they'll just add that to your inventory in the PC. But, like, in these earlier games, uh, let's just go to Finac real quick. Man, we've, like, done nothing this video, it feels like. I thought that, because I was like, I started this, and I was like, I have zero clue what I'm going to do. And apparently, let's just do bullshit for 30 minutes is the, is the strat. Because I kind of wanted to go ahead and record this so I could go ahead and, like, explain the thing with, like, the saves while it was still somewhat fresh in my mind. Even though I really didn't. Because even I have no clue why what I did worked. Because it's like I tried to do that several different times. And every time it was giving me, like, some error, like... Like, the main error I was getting was, this isn't the same memory card that was used to save last time. Please insert the memory card from the last save. And it's like... Fuck off, why does it matter if it's a different memory card? Just save the damn game, piece of garbage. Did I... I didn't actually do anything, did I? <laughs> I just walked into the Pokemon Center, healed, and didn't do anything. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. I don't even have anything to excuse to blame it on. It's not even like I just woke up or it's like late at night. I mean, it's like 3.30 in the morning. I mean, 3.30 in the evening. Like, p.m. So I can't even like say, oh, I'm tired. That's why I'm doing stupid stuff. So no, I'm just a dumb person. Okay, no. Man, look at all these shadow Pokemon. There's so many. There's so many. That's gonna take forever to purify them all. Even though the purify machine does do pretty good work with uh, max tempo, it's just it's a lot of walking around and doing nothing is what it takes to purify them. It's still a lot better than Colosseum, where you can only do like a few at a time. At least you can like passively purify like nine. And I guess I could put some of the the others in my party and walk around. That does a decent amount of purification. Kind of like hit two birds with one stone. So let's get this stupid Togepi. Purifies ass. Rescue to Shagger Togepi? Yes. Give me your stupid Togepi. I don't even like Togepi. I like Togekiss. Or no, Toge. Yeah, Togekiss. Togetic is the second form, right? 
Togekiss is the one added to the fourth gen. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Togekiss. I'm not really a huge fan of to Togepi or Togetic. I think Togetic's a stupid name. In all honesty. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Um, for this video. We bullshitted our way to 25 minutes, which is a decent amount. So I won't really, can't really think of anything else we can do immediately right now. Off screen, I'll basically purify all the shadow Pokemon we have. Maybe do a little Mount Battle grinding. And we will start the next video off with, uh, doing old, purifying old Shadow Lugia. So yeah, I'm a Choose 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.